Hello my dear students I hope you all are fit and healthy and practicing social distancing Kids today we are going to start with a new chapter which is chapter 3 multiplication Kids you have already learned about multiplication in your previous classes So let's watch a video to revise the concept of multiplication Let us understand the multiplication concept with the help of these little fish. There are 5 fish in each bowl. There are 4 fish bowls. How many fish are there in all? There are two methods to find the number of fish in all. So, let us start. Method 1. Here we add the number of fish in each of the fish bowl. Let us do it. 5 Plus five is equal to ten. Now ten plus five is equal to fifteen, and fifteen plus five is equal to twenty. So there are twenty fish in all. Look, here we repeatedly added five four times to get the answer. Now let us see method two. Here we would be multiplying the numbers. Let us see how. There are four fish bowls. Each bowl has five fish in it. So here we multiply the number of fish bowls with the number of fish in each bowl. So four times five is equal to twenty. Thus there are twenty fish in all. It can be read as four multiplied by five is twenty. Four. Times five is twenty, or four fives are twenty. When we compare both the methods, we can see that multiplication is repeated addition. Let us look at the ways to write a multiplication sentence. This is called horizontal multiplication. This is called vertical multiplication. Certain terms are also used. For the numbers in a multiplication sentence the number that is multiplied by another number is called the multiplicand the number by which another number is multiplied is called the multiplier the number obtained by multiplying two numbers is called the product hope it was fun to learn the concept of multiplication with the fish birds and the ladybirds kids let's now discuss how to multiply a number with one digit number so kids the multiplication of a number with one digit number is given under exercise 3 which is on page number 39 and today we are going to do question 1 of this exercise let's take a look on h part of it 3409 multiplied by Seven. Now, kids, here you have to multiply three thousand four hundred nine by seven. Let's first write the places on the top as we did earlier in the questions of addition and subtraction. Now, kids, here we have to multiply a four-digit number with one-digit number, right? So that means. We will multiply all the four digits of three thousand four hundred nine individually with seven, one by one, and we are going to start the multiplication from ones place, and we will write seven at ones place because it's one digit number. So let's multiply. Seven times nine is sixty three. So we will write three at ones place, and we will carry six to the tens place. Now, kids, whatever is the carryover is to be added in the answer of the multiplication of next place, right? So seven times zero gives us zero, and zero plus six gives us six. So we will write six under tens place now. Moving on to the hundreds place. Seven times four is twenty-eight. So we will keep eight under hundreds place, and we will carry two to the thousands place. 
Now we will add this 2 in the answer of multiplication of 3 and 7. Now 7 times 3 is 21 and 21 plus 2 is 23. Now kids we do not have any other digit written before 3. So that means we will write 23 as it is. But yes we need a place for 2 which is 10,000s place. So the answer of your multiplication is 23,863. And do you know what do we call the answer of multiplication? It is called product. So we will say that the product of 3,409 and 7 is 23,863.